Welcome to Spray Lock Nation to another glorious day here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. I think I'm in Studio 478D. I uh, really don't know what he's going to have behind me. And if you notice, my buddy Brent's not here. Today we're actually going to have Fred Land come in. He is the man normally behind the camera. He is the man behind Spray Lock Adhesives and Spray Lock Concrete Protection. And we want to discuss a little bit about floor prep and a program. Yes, I think we're in Studio 578. We might be in Studio 570. It would make sense. Because we're talking about? Because we're talking about SCP 578. All right. Sounds good. What are we going to try to figure out today, Josh? I think today we kind of want to talk about our surface prep. And this is really launching into, we've done other videos with 578, but this is launching into a Lock 10 program. Yes. Where Fred is combining both companies to create a system from a flooring dealer standpoint. But from a flooring dealer standpoint, a lot of times we want to talk about surface prep and what it means for the SCP side of the concrete um, and what it takes to get in. And a lot of times, Fred, as, as you've went through years, you know, a lot of times they're looking at moisture mitigation such as epoxies. Right. And they're having these surface profiles. But that's not what we need. No. We need absorption. We need absorption. If it won't drop in, product's not going to do anything for you. No. So, so yeah, so we, we thought it'd be a great idea just to talk about some simple steps that you guys can take to find out pretty early on if the slab's a candidate or not for 578 before you mobilize everything. So we just thought we'd talk about that in general and then and then move into the actual prep. So surface prep for it is, is like with anything, you wanna make it clean, you wanna do all the stuff that F710 says. The one thing that we're gonna have a little bit different is, is for most moisture mitigations, they want a concrete surface profile. We don't care. Okay. I don't care if it's a CSP1 or a CSP3. We look for absorption like you mentioned. As far as that, go out there with an angle grinder, grind your little area up, and just take a penny. Drop the penny on the concrete, make a circle around it, put five drops. Don't don't soak it, but literally go get a, like a squeeze bulb that, if you've got kids, you know what I'm talking about, the little blue squeeze bulbs you get at Eckerd's or CVS or anything that you booger sucker, <laughs> pull it out with, just put five drops in that. Wait two minutes. Look and see if you've got a shine on that surface or if it's completely dropped in. If it's completely dropped in, we know we're getting absorbed. If you've got a shine on it, we're not. The other thing to work out for, and the reason we want that outline, is is that water moving out? Because if it's moving out, it's not going in. Oh. We really want that product to get in. If it's not getting in, it's not gonna do you any good. That's really it. It's a very simple process. And how fast does it need to drop in? Two minutes. Two minutes. Five drops, two minutes. Okay. So, so the big equipment list to find out whether or not this particular slab is a candidate is you got? A penny, a grinder, a water bulb, and water. Okay. That's it. Okay. Then after that, you know, go to your normal opening you know, prep procedures, whether you're be blasting, grinding, or whatever, do through OSHA safety standards. And... Just double check you every now and then just to make sure that you are getting where you need to be, but it's not a lot different than what everybody's used to anyway. So from a manpower standpoint, you got one guy, small bag, walks on site, he's in and out how long? Just uh, depends on how big of the area it is. I mean, do enough that you're comfortable with. We recommend, you know, every thousand square feet. Most time you're only gonna prep five, 6,000 square feet at a time. Go to your five tests and move on. All right, so very quick, in and out, not going to spend a lot of time, not going to spend hardly any money, and find out real fast if that particular slab is a good candidate for 578. Sounds pretty quick and easy, and we are just trying to think of everything we can to make sure that your 578 job goes as smooth as silk, and we set realistic expectations, and we don't waste your money by mobilizing a crew to go out with all the bead blasting equipment and go through it however many passes and you still don't have the results that you want. So I thought I'd have Josh uh, explain this to me so we could nail it and uh, hopefully make your life a lot easier. Yeah, no sense in grinding away when you don't have to. Like, subscribe, and if you've got any questions, reach out to us at scptech at spraylock.com. Thank you. Thank you.